And that pretty much wraps up today's lesson. Don't forget the teachings of Halone. Homework involves reading chapters 6 and 7 of Precepts of the Twelve. An upcoming paper looking into the glacial movement to so the first astral moon is coming up. And I expect all of you to be savvy with the questions. Don't forget... Something strange is happening. I need help. People are in danger. I can feel it. I need to get out of here now. You are dismissed. Hello, Mioni here and welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV video for you today. Today I want to look at how easy it is to set up a series of inputs into a macro for everyday use. Purely for entertainment and a really cool way to transition between your favourite gear sets or even to get ready for a dungeon in style. In the macro I used for my tongue-in-cheek intro there, I basically assigned three different gear sets. The first would be what I start wearing, so in this case some classroom-esque school gear. Then, the second gear set I made for my character was naked. This is hard to see because of the light from the spell effects, but by taking off the majority of a gear, it reminded me very much of the old dress sphere gear changes from Final Fantasy X-2. And finally, the third gear set is the one that is in this case my actual gear with glamour applied to look like a white witch of sorts. Macros for fun transformations exist posted all over YouTube and the internet, and there are some really, really nice examples, but this is generally how they are coded. So the first line of this macro is to change the icon the actual macro shows on the button you place on your bars. In this case I made it use the same icon as the cleric stance action by typing in cleric stance. You can change this to almost anything simply by replacing where it says cleric stance to any other action such as a size for example. The second line shows slash pose, then motion and a weight dot 5 in arrow brackets. The slash pose is the emote we wanted to use. The motion text informs it that we only want the animation and not the actual emote text itself. And the wait 5 is to wait 5 seconds before executing the next line below. The third line shows slash AC, which stands for action, and then holy in abbreviations. This is the name of an action, and then wait for X amount of seconds. So it will cast holy and then wait for 4 seconds, then execute the next line, which in this case is swift cast. Then it will slash GC change 27. This means it will change your gear set to number 27 on your gear sets list, whatever gear you have assigned to that number. After that, my macro cast Tetragrammaton, waits a second, changes to gear set 28, cast Medica 2, waits another second, changes to gear set number 29, and then cast Largis, a size, and then examines herself, and then nods with the slash yes emote. Essentially anything that you have as actions can be made to trigger in the same manner. Some have had entire transformations for Power Ranger Glamour with the Hero Pose emotes for example. Some have entire chains of macros to go through a very intense line of class changes for roleplay situations. The possibilities are truly endless and I just wanted to share how easy this can actually be. I would love to see what transformation macros you can come up with. See if you can link some below and I'll try and try them out. Thank you kindly for watching today's video. Enjoy sinking some serious time into making some cool macro chains and I'll see you next time.